so you guys got a big lead in the second half and New Mexico cut it down to five. What do you think went wrong in that late that late game period and what do you think you guys will want to improve from that? Um, I guess what was, um, the ball was sticking. We didn't have much ball movement. Um, we weren't rebounding too well, and uh, we were just missing shots. You know, we weren't making the extra pass like we did in the first half, and we weren't putting pressure on the defense. Um, I think in the first half, you saw us pushing it more, out, getting out in transition, and uh, I think just through missed shots and not getting back on defense, it leads to very stagnant play. So. Um, yeah, I think just like he said, we uh, it just came down to us like missing a bunch of shots, and they were and they just got in the roll, and uh, we weren't rebounding as well. Is there any particular reason why New Mexico got so many offensive rebounds this game? Um, that's been like one of the like one of the one of our main struggles all season, and uh, even like during the during the preseason, we uh, coach been getting, getting on us about rebounding, and uh, yeah, that's that's like been one of our main struggles. Definitely. Maybe 20 minutes uh, tonight. How comfortable are you already as a freshman reading the gym? Um, very. You know, ever since I got here, everybody's been helpful. All the players, coaching staff, and I think that's what, that was one of the main reasons I came here. I felt like I felt like this is like a this is a great environment for me to 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 grow as a player and as a person. Julian, would you say that? the team is having more fun compared to last year at this point? The difference is night and day, no question. Uh, it's sort of in the past, the past two years, at least since I've been here, um, it's sort of not nerve-wracking, but a nuisance coming to practice sometimes just because we were so bad. Um, and so it, was, it was very clicky, um, but we, we get along great. Um, and, it, it, and it's a fun environment. I mean, anybody who's come to watch us practice, they always com comment on how how competitive practices, how, how vocal we are, and just the energy. Um, yeah, like I, it's it's completely different. I, I I'm really enjoying it. I feel like you guys have have turned the corner now, and this is kind of the this is what you had envisioned this team to yeah. be once everybody came back, got healthy, and got some guys in. Right. I mean, it's sort of too soon to to tell. I mean, it is only the third game, but definitely. The major strides. Um, I, you guys can see, obviously, started out this first time USC has started out three and zero in I don't know how many years. Um, Two thousand. Yeah, there you go. So, um, I would I would definitely say so. We just we just sort of taking it game by game. We're gonna come back and prepare for. Is it Northridge Monday? Yeah. Northridge, yeah. <laughs> What's been that biggest difference? Um. I, um. First of all, the talent level. Um, I would definitely say so. Um, guys are older, you know. Some of us are third year, second year. We've got a lot of experience under our belt. And the the good thing about us being so bad last year is that the players who we needed, you know, later on, we got to play a lot of minutes. Like my freshman year, I played you know 30 minutes a game. Jordan McLaughlin played 30 minutes a game last year. So it, it, it's well, it's it's really good getting experience under our belt for times like this when you you know s sort of turn the corner on second, third, fourth year. So. Last year seemed like the identity of the team was you guys were that base and dwelling. Yeah. Play. What is your identity this year? Like, what do you want it to be if you don't know yet? Uh, Chimezi, yeah. We have a, let's t tell them our motto. Oh, uh, um, play hard, or play fast, play smart, and play uh, unselfish. And I think I think we've been doing that uh, great, like the past three games. Uh, we're averaging a lot of assists. Our assist to turnover ratio is is uh, positive, and I mean we're just we're just having a lot of fun. So, what were your thoughts when you saw Elijah go down? And Right back in. Were you worried for a second? No, not at all. Yeah, he's a he's a warrior. <laughs> a Trojan one. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it, dude's fine. He'll be all right. Knock on wood. <laughs> or some wood. Uh, <laughs> Someone who knock on the desk or something. Yeah, we'll be fine. On the defensive side of the ball, what's it like having Chimezi down low, knowing that he's there as a room protector? Oh, uh, it's great. I mean. He's he's one of the best shot blockers in the country. Uh, we just got to do a better job of covering his back, you know, rebounding uh, when he helps. It's called helping the helper. So as long as he keeps doing what he's doing and we sort of step up defensively on recovering from him trying to make plays, we'll be fine. But it, it's great. Do you think having Chimezi as a rim protector has helped the guards uh, in regards to foul trouble so far in the game? 
definitely. Um, especially with the new rule being changed, how um, it's very easy to get a call, a foul called against you. But knowing you can rely on, you know, six ten jumps out of the gym, uh, it's, it's a major boost to our team. Um, with that being said, our job is to keep the guards out of the middle. But in case that does happen, he's a, he's really good at being there.